All right, guys, let's take another look at um, another argument. And, and when I say argument, it's more, it is a word problem, and they're wanting you to prove if the person who solved a problem did it right or was incorrect and why they were correct or why they were not. Okay? So, I'm going to talk to you about a word here, and it's called conjecture. All right, and kind of think about that for a minute. If I'm using the word conjecture, and I'm thinking about word problems, what do you think conjecture is? Well, conjecture is a statement that is believed to be true, but it hasn't been proven yet. So somebody has made a statement in solving one of these word problems, and then we're going to solve if it's true or not. All right? So let's look at this problem. In a recent year, Colorado issued, issued 23,301 building permits, and Vermont issued 2,296 building permits. Kyle said Colorado issued about 100 times as many permits, permits as Vermont. A hundred times. That is our key word. All right? So we're breaking it down. We're breaking it down into, well, I'm going to list my information right here. So Colorado has 23,301 building permits. See how I kind of put that right there? Now Vermont has... 2,296 building permits. Now, there's a reason that I wrote it like this. I wrote it directly under here. Why do you think? Right, because I can compare them a lot easier. Here is the question. Is it 100 times as many permits as Vermont? Did Colorado do that? Well, okay, here's my ones. That's not where I'm ending. I'm ending right here. The three is in the 1,000 place. The two is in the 1,000 place. The two, this is in the 10,000 place, so this is 20,000 compared to 2,000. So if I had a place value chart, and this was the thousands, and this was the 10,000s, how many places did I move over? Well, I went just one place. I just moved one place. And moving one place to the left just means times 10. Right. So it is not 100 times. It is 10 times as many. So this is how I decided if my conjecture makes sense. I can use numbers. I did use some numbers, right? Here's my argument. Kyle's conjecture is not true. Rounding to the nearest 10,000, Colorado issued about 20,000. Well, we knew that, didn't we? Vermont issued about 2,000 permits, rounding to the nearest 1,000. 100 times from 2,000 times 100 takes me two place value spots. This would take me to the hundred thousands, wouldn't it? Which then would give me two hundred thousand. One hundred times two thousand is two hundred thousand. So Colorado issued only about ten times as many building permits as Vermont. Not one hundred times as many. 
So that was really good. You guys did really good on that one. Does that part make sense? Remember, every place value that you move to the left, the left of the place value is times 10. One spot, two spots would be times a hundred, and three spots would be times a thousand. So let's go down here. We are going to use this, this table right here. Now, I read the table wrong to begin with, all right? So, let me tell you, okay? These numbers right here are set A, and these numbers right here are set B. So, I totally did that wrong. But I'll show you. I fixed it, though. Here, and so we're using these numbers, set A and set B, to construct some arguments. Our first question is, well, this is what's happening. Is Alyssa says, it's a little hard for me right now doing this. I'm having to work from home, guys. So I'm not able to use my smart board. So it is a little bit harder for me to get you the information that you need. So right here it says, Alyssa says it's easier to compare the numbers in set A than in set B. Again, here are your numbers. Right there. There are your numbers right there. Set A is 45,760 to the net, and we're comparing it to 1,025,680. Set B is 492,111. And the second number is that we're comparing with in set B is 409,867. Again, the question is, Alyssa says it's easier to compare the numbers in set A and the numbers in set B. Okay? Number one, the question is, what is one way you could construct an argument justifying whether Alyssa's conjecture is true. Well, what I would do, I would use a place value chart. And I could compare the numbers to explain. So right away, looking right here at set A to set B. My last number on the left is in the 10,000s place in 45,760. And my last, my number on the left in set A is 1,025,680. So I've already compared it right here. I've put it right down here for set A. You can already tell right here that this is a lot easier because, first of all, this number has five digits. This number right here has seven digits. This is in the one millionth place, and this is in the ten thousandth place. So that is easily to compare. So that's what I put. I put, I could use place value. Oh, sorry, guys. I could use place value, value, and compare numbers to explain. That's all I had to write on number one. Number two was, let me go back here. Number two's question is, is Alyssa's conjecture true? Justify your answer. Yes, it is true. And we just said it. The numbers in set A are easier to compare. They have a different place value right off the bat. So let's look at set B, okay? Set B is right here. You have 492,111, 409,867. Well, I say that set B is going to be a little harder to compare because you have the same number of digits in the numbers. They are all, all the numbers, the numbers on the left are in the same place value chart. So you're going to have to do a little bit more work, right? 
So right here, I have set B. And they are exactly in 100,000. So, how could we solve it? We solved it by using the 10,000th place about which one is bigger. And the 9 is greater than the 0. So what I said was this. I said, just a second. Alyssa could have compared the numbers in set B, starting with the greatest place value from the left that was different. And that's exactly right, because right here, we all had fours in the hundred thousands, so we couldn't compare. But in the ten thousands, we had a nine and a zero, and we can compare. 